Hi, Rudy Winston from Canon USA. And in this EOS 6D Mark II tutorial, we're going to talk about autofocus when you're recording video with the camera. One of the reasons the autofocus on the 6D Mark II is so effective is the dual pixel CMOS AF technology the camera uses. This gives us tremendously responsive and smooth autofocus when we're recording video. Another great feature for the autofocus is the touch screen operation on the camera's LCD monitor. You can just tap the screen to tell it where you want it to focus and to make focus changes even during recording. One of the choices you have with the camera is how do you want to activate autofocus in the first place. AF can be started by either pressing the AF on button on the back of the camera, and you have options to use the shutter release button on the camera as well. If you go into the fourth red shooting menu when the camera's set for video, one of the menu items is shutter button control, and you'll see that you have four options for video recording. Now the third and fourth of these options will let you start and stop video recording with a full press of the shutter button. And then you have options as well if you half press the button in terms of whether or not you have autofocus activation there. When you're recording video, there are two fundamental choices you can make in terms of autofocus operation. But first, to make either one, you have to be in a creative zone shooting mode. Your mode dial has to be on the P, TV, AV or M settings. The first fundamental control you have is Movie Servo AF, whether it's active or not. Movie Servo AF is continuous autofocus for video. It's especially effective if you're recording any types of moving subjects. Now, if you are using Movie Servo AF, a very cool feature is that you have several ways to pause the continuous autofocus temporarily, and those include touching an on-screen Servo AF icon to pause it, and then touching that same icon again to resume continuous focusing. The other fundamental control that you have is what we call AF method which again is in the red video shooting menu. This is going to let you control the size of your focus area. You have three choices. The first of these is face detect plus tracking. This is going to give you focus over a broad area, most of the picture area. If it detects a human face, it is going to put focus on that face and continue to focus it if it moves toward or away from the camera, or even if it moves across the frame. The second option you have with AF method is called Smooth Zone AF. This is a smaller focusing area that starts in the center, but that you can move over most of the picture area by just tapping the screen in a different location or dragging it with your finger. And then finally, you can get even tighter and more precise control over where you are focusing with Live One Point AF. This is a single spot on the screen. It starts in the center, but again, you can move it over most of the picture area by just tapping the screen or by dragging it with your finger. It's a very effective way of focusing during recording from near to far and vice versa by just simply tapping where you want the camera to focus and then tapping again when you want focus to change to another part of the scene. Even if Movie Servo AF is turned off, you can make focus changes by just tapping the screen and telling the system, hey, I want to focus here, I want to focus here. Now, if you set the Live 1.0 AF, some additional controls are made available to you. The first of these is called tracking sensitivity. You can adjust how the focusing system is going to respond if there is a sudden change in what you're focusing upon. You have a scale on the menu screen that starts in the middle. If you move it towards the locked on settings, if I'm focusing on something with Movie Servo AF, and there's a sudden change. If something comes in between my subject and the camera, or if suddenly my subject moves and I'm suddenly focusing on the background, Locked On is telling the system, try to preserve focus on that original subject, even if we momentarily lose sight of it. Don't refocus on the sudden new subject. And conversely, you can set it in up to three steps in the responsive direction, which would do the opposite with your Movie Servo AF. You're telling the system, hey, if there's a sudden change in what we're focusing on, try to refocus on this new subject as quickly as possible. The second area of focus control in the shooting menu is over Movie Servo AF speed. 
And it's important to understand why this control is there, especially if you come from a still image shooting background. When we shoot still images with autofocus, we want focus changes to be as fast as we can, to be able to focus from near to far, quickly as possible. But when we're recording video, we usually want these changes to be slower and smoother, to give us a more professional looking effect during recording. So by default, if you do nothing here, the camera will respond a little more smoothly and slowly in its focus changes when you're recording video, and that's deliberate. But the cool thing is, the 6D Mark II gives you some control here over movie servo AF speed. First off, you can determine whether it's going to be active all the time or whether these changes would apply only when you're actually recording. To adjust the speed, there's a scale that appears on the menu screen. The default setting is zero. That's the factory default setting to give us smoothness when we focus from near to far and vice versa. But you can change this by speeding it up in two steps or you have seven additional steps to slow the response down even further. And these slow speed settings will work with Canon STM lenses and with any Canon USM ultrasonic motor lens introduced in 2009 or later. The EOS 6D Mark II gives you outstanding video quality to begin with. But with some of the features and capabilities that you have built into the camera, you can really refine the look that you want in your finished video files. Really makes it easy to get professional looking video when you work with the 6D Mark II camera.